The Selfish Giant. Once upon a time, there was a large castle that stood in the middle of a village. It had belonged to a giant, but the villagers believed it was now abandoned. The giant hadn't been seen since he had gone to visit a goblin in the neighboring village seven years ago. <laughs> Look, have, have you tried these peaches? Mmm, this is juicy. Have you tried the apples? Maybe we should pick some grapes tomorrow. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> oh, look. The caterpillar has transformed into a butterfly. Oh, oh how, how pretty. pretty. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> sure is. Fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ever since the giant left, his castle had become a playground for the village children. Then one day, he decided to return home. He had stayed with his friend the goblin for seven years, and they had run out of things to talk about. What's this? Uninvited guests in my castle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be quiet, you children! <laughs> How dare you come and play here without my permission? Oh, get out! <laughs> Get off my lawn. the value of peace and quiet like I can. That's just how it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, I'm bored. Oh, I'm bored. Me too. We were never bored when we played in the castle. But that awful monster lives there now. Oh. Hey, watch out, children. Go play inside! Uh, Go! Uh, 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 what do we do now? We have to do something. We have to think of a plan. We have to win our garden back. That's right. We'll go fight that giant. Let's get some weapons. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. We can't beat that angry giant with these. Oh, it's hopeless. And now he's got guard dogs in the garden, too. Oh. 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 Wait. Uh, I have an idea. Huh? Uh, what? Listen. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 
What's this now? What are they up to now? What are you doing now? Hey, you kids, get out of here! Why don't you come over and try it too? It's fun! <laughs> come out and play with us. You seem lonely. Yeah, can we be your friends? Come on, let's play! Look, the plan is working. He's coming out now. How could anyone say no to sweet children like us? <laughs> Silence! If you come near my garden again, you'll be sorry! Understand? <laughs> After chasing the children away, the giant attached barbed wire to the walls of his castle. That night, he was very pleased with himself. <laughs> Bubbles, really? Do they take me for a fool? <laughs> but I bet they can't climb over barbed wire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no one here. I'm all alone. Hooray! 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 The following morning... What? My garden! Where is my beautiful garden? <laughs> well, I, I am sure this strange weather will be over soon. Spring will come, my flowers will bloom again, and the trees will bear fruit. Oh, it's so cold. The giant did not see that it was really his heart that was cold and frozen. Time went by, and the village had seen three springs come and go. Lovely flowers in pink, purple, and red had blossomed in the mountains. And the trees were heavy with fruit. Why won't spring come to my garden? Oh, it is so dreary here. For three years, the giant had been alone in his cold, dark castle with nothing but withered trees and silence to keep him company. For the first time, he began to feel lonely. I feel so alone. Uh, what? What am I saying? Could I really... Be lonely? Just then... Uh, I see flowers! Look, flowers! <laughs> Overjoyed, the giant rushed out into the garden. <laughs> spring has come! Spring has come at last! It's spring! <laughs> <laughs> towards the crying child. Seeing its distress, he suddenly felt the urge to help. He realized that perhaps by helping someone, he could take away some of his loneliness. 
Hey, you. Uh, what are you doing here? into the tree, birds and butterflies fluttered into the garden. <laughs> You're so awesome! <laughs> the giant suddenly realized why spring had come to his garden. The children had brought it back with their joy and their laughter, and the flowers could bloom again. <laughs> the giant blushed at the children's laughter. Just then, he knew that that sound was the most beautiful thing in his garden. The most beautiful thing in the world. The Prince and the Pauper The Ugly Duckling Rapunzel The Emperor's New Clothes The Bremen Town Musicians The Happy Prince Heidi, Girl of the Alps Nobody's Boy The Wizard of Oz The Last Leaf <laughs> 